Hey everyone, today in this video, I'm going to be explaining to you how the brand new ominous events and the ominous bottles work. Because the bad omen in the next Minecraft update no longer works how it previously did. Prior to the Minecraft 1.21 updates, all players know that if you kill a pillager that is holding the ominous banner on his head like this guy, it would trigger the bad omen. If you then entered a village, it would then start a raid. It is no longer going to work like that. So now when you're out in the wilds, if you find a pillager with the ominous banner and you kill them, they will now drop something called the ominous bottles. And there are different variations of these. Now, the first one I killed dropped the Ominous Bottle Bad Omen V, which is five. So I want to kill another one and see what we get this time. Because different levels can drop. So this time, I managed to get three. I have killed other ones before and got four. So it looks like all variations of these are actually possible. So we just killed this Pillager Captain. We have his Ominous Banner to show for it. But you'll notice that we do not have the bad omen effect and a raid isn't starting. That is because it is the player's choice now to start a raid. So if I was to drink this, then it would count down to a brand new raid to begin. So what I'm going to do is just step away from this village so it doesn't recognize me. I'm going to drink this now and you'll see right now if we check out our... Uh, bad omen effect it's changed we have a brand new icon we have bad omen 5 and this happens for one hour and 40 minutes now if you do drink multiple of these it does not stack up it's always one hour and 40 minutes so keep an eye on my status effect because as we do start to enter the village you'll notice that it will change it will go from the bad omen effect to the raid omen and it has a countdown of 30 seconds. You do get some really cool particles, which I like. But I can now drink a milk bucket in order to cancel this out. So it doesn't automatically start. It's now down to player's choices. Which essentially the introduction of these kind of breaks automatic raid farms. So you're no longer going to end up with like a million totems. Something to be noted is that these can be stacked up to 64. So although this does essentially break automatic raid farms, you could just continuously end up drinking each and every single one of these potions. Now, I do want to get rid of these, but only keep one. And I'm going to show you this in survival here. So if we change our game mode to survival... We are going to go over here and I'm going to drink this. Now, as you guys know, with an ordinary potion, you would get the glass bottle back. This item is completely consumed and it's no longer inside of your inventory. So there isn't a new type of glass bottle available, unfortunately. Now, these bottles aren't just obtained via pillager captains. They can also be obtained via the new brand new trial chambers. One other mechanic that has also been altered is that you, the player, are now defined as the center of that raid. So once I drink this potion, pillagers are going to make their way here right next to this pig pen. So let's drink this. So as the raid omen starts to go down, you'll notice the icon starts to flash, eventually is going to disappear, and the regular raid bar is going to appear right at the top just like a regular raid or Minecraft players have known. And as you can see, pillagers are starting to make their way to this pig pen, which I think is going to be a great way to for players to kind of come up with creative ways to make brand new raid farms. Now, these ominous bottles can also be drank once a player enters a trial chamber. So right now, it's currently the bad omen, but keep an eye on this because as we do enter the trial chamber and become in line of sight of a trial spawner this is actually going to change also this is a brand new room that has been introduced by the way so as we get to this the particles should change and you'll notice we now have the trial omen now this happens for a total of 15 minutes now obviously i'm not taking damage because of the effects i have but these spawners are a lot more challenging and also produce better loot if you manage to successfully defeat one. 
So this is like a new challenge for players to experience. There's also some new effects, which can be crafted into potions as well, which I will make a separate video on. This one right here is if uh, mobs get hit with the wind charge, it kind of causes a mini explosion upon death. But I just want to go ahead and defeat this one. Also remember the colors and the particles around this are slightly different. And what the developers have also introduced is apparently better food can also pop out of these. So as long as we have the trial omen, as long as we enter a different spawner or location, we can continue just to keep fighting mobs. Hopefully getting the best items. We've also been hit with slow falling. These random events will just keep happening. They benefit players and they also benefit mobs as well. Not all of the effects will be positive though. So we can see here, this is an arrow. Here we go. It's going to hit us. This one hit us this time with slowness. Not just me though. Also the mobs in this location have the exact same thing. And it just offers a brand new challenge. But you don't have to come to the trial chambers with this. This is completely down to player choice. But right now, I will tell you the slow fall is pretty good. This one, which is oozing, basically means that if a mob gets hit with oozing and then I manage to kill them. We we'll try this now. I'm not sure if he's got the oozing effect. It means upon death, slimes will actually spawn or have... A chance of spawning now if you are lucky like we have been you will end up with a brand new key this is the ominous trial key this is not used for the regular um vaults they are used for special vaults which i'm gonna show you if you now try to open a regular vault with this key it's not going to work there are two types of keys and the one that you need to access is this one right here where players can get the best loot, including, here we go, the heavy core, which is used to make the mace. And you can get banner patterns. I believe you can also get the uh, potions or the ominous bottles from these as well. So here are your two separate types of keys. This one is your regular vault, which I want to show you guys because we can get the ominous event bottles from this. It's completely RNG, so it might not happen every single time. I want to see this one, see the chances of getting this. Let's open all of these. There you go. We managed to get one there. We also got another one there. And let's see if we end up with any more from this. So we can now gather a whole bunch of loot. Should ha have a bunch more of these bottles to then trigger another one if we really wanted to. This time, we ended up with just the regular ominous bottles. In the regular trial chamber vaults, ominous bottles from one to two can be found. Meanwhile, in the ominous vaults, ominous bottles from level three to five can be found. And I think this is all just to do with difficulty of the raid you are going to be doing. I hope today's video has helped you out. If you have any more questions, let me know in the comments section. But more importantly, let us know in the comments what you think of this change. Have a wonderful day.